Well, today I'm excited to bring you along on a little thrifting outing that I got to do with a friend. So we hit up a coffee shop in a local city, headed to Savers first, and started our perusing. So we both have similar taste vintage pieces and found this Arner's pitcher and bowl. Really debated on getting that, but I did leave it there. And then just some other like home decor pieces that we had been on the hunt for. This bowl was beautiful, but $10 was a little pricey and I didn't know if I would actually use it or not. This is different. <laughs> Probably. That is that it's is kind of cool. Different. It I like is. the blue. What is? I don't know what Nana is. That is cool. It's just different. I don't think I would want that in my house, but it's kind of cool. So, so I'm looking for a few like really unique vases for some things to put stems in, like faux and eucalyptus and stuff. One. Oh, that's cool. This one. Oh, I kind of like this twisty. Yeah. That's and pretty. I have those. You do have extra wicks? I have, oh, I bought a whole roll. Oh, you're smart. With the kerosene. So, and then they have. Yeah, oh, you could just buy a ton. That'd be well stocked this time. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. And they're a little squish. Are those ones peenies? That's really good. And then with this white stuff in there, oh, that's pretty. Like you could separate it out. That's pretty. Baskets. Oh, and this has a little lid. That's cute. I just like to put it for baby stuff in the bedroom. Yes. Except 549. I'll stick it in there if oh, I wanna yeah. if I wanna take it out later. I just gonna look for like an egg basket. And I wanted like a metal one. Or an actual egg. I like the light color. Oh this is I want a new laundry basket for the girls. Is that broken? Oh yeah. No, they both are. I bet it was like a wood handle. Ah. $18 is it? awful. Maybe it is. I don't know. I think I'm good. And then fancier. I might clean like a little more of those smaller plates like this. I've been kind of keeping an eye on because we yeah. use those a lot. The little small ones. But, um, yeah, I use those for the girls a lot too. I really collect these dishes too. For 33 pieces. Mm. I saw, I used to find those a lot and then I was like, nah, I don't really want them. Oh, here's some bowls. Pretty. Oh, yeah. I think it is old. This picture is cute. What's the shape? Oh. I should get that done. Ooh. It looked like it would be better than that. <laughs> I love chairs. Just the old, I don't know, spindles. Fun for like entryway benches. Just like, that's pretty sturdy actually. Wow. I don't know. There you go. Well, you might even want to sand it. It's kind of worn. But that's fun. We, well, we're gonna build a bench. It was time to hit up the next thrift store. They had quite a bit of furniture there. I cannot recall the price of this table, but I think it was 30 or something, which seemed relatively expensive for a thrift store. See, like this is really pretty. This looks like it has some dried flowers to it. I don't know, that's gonna seem like $5 for both the basket and like at Savers it would have been. <laughs> cotton stems, yeah. I've DIY'd some of my own cotton stems just with cotton balls and sticks. Like this one, oh, sometimes I take those liners out and use them. Yeah, I'll use them as trash cans sometimes, though. Two dollars, that's not bad. Yeah, if you just take that liner out. I like the lighter colored baskets a little more. This is like a, like a huge produce basket or something. 
how much was it there? Yeah, that one's only four. Yeah, see, because these lots of times are used as trash cans. What is this? Oh, it's just upside down. I was like, what is that? I have fun color. Like yeah. new. That's not bad. Five fifty. That's huge. It looks like they painted it. That's what I'm wondering, but sometimes, oh, yeah, yeah. And it's, oh yeah. Yeah, they definitely painted it. Five fifty though. It's kind of cool. I'll just buy these again to keep on hand for oh, yeah. three bucks though. I think that's expensive for this. Such a cute wicker basket, but at this moment I did not feel like cleaning it out and it did have some damage on it. All right, so I'm gonna take a little time to share my haul with you. So it's a whole different day. I didn't film the haul, but we had a fun little excursion. We didn't hit up any rummages, which I was hoping we would. But it was just really cold, windy, like 40s, not great rummaging weather. But I still have some vintage decor pieces. We did stop at a few antique stores. I didn't really film in the antique stores this time. I restocked my booth. I know some of you asked me to share that with you, but I need to just probably do that over on Instagram and share it in the stories. So I have a shelf of vintage items basically inside my husband's novelty type items in an antique store. So that's what we did as well. But I'm gonna share with you my housewares, home decor stuff first. And then I found a few postpartum clothing pieces because when you're seeing this or when I'm filming this, I am 36 weeks pregnant. So I'm thinking summertime clothes um, and a few things like that. And I did find a few things also for uh, my home birth as well. So let's start. We stopped at the Savers and Savers is always a little pricey where I live. I think it's also called Value Village in more northern states or in Canada. So this is just a suit mug. It's just, I don't know, the blue, the blue caught me with the cream color. It was a dollar. So I thought that was pretty good find. And this one actually was not at Savers. This was at the other thrift store that had a sale on a green tag and blue tag. But so a dollar for this little mug. I mean, you could fit some peonies in there. It'd be really cute to display florals in it. Right at that second thrift store, I found this flip top jar. Um, it's a half liter. So I often use these to store my herbs in, like sometimes spices like salt would be great in here because it's really big. Or after I make my dried echinacea leaves or chamomile, I'll put those in jars like this. And they're just really nice to have handy or extra baking soda for by my laundry station. So this was $1.50. Right, this was at an antique store. I just really like, again, these wire top glass jars for um, storing things in. There is no seal, so it was $8, but I think it was 20% off of that. So again, antique stores, they're a little more pricey, but I really enjoy having these jars for storage and just even for decor or gifting things in when it's to birthdays or holiday time. All right, my friend was kind of on the hunt for some kerosene lamps and so I did find one and picked one up too. It still has a green wick in it and it was $8 so that really isn't too pricey and I really liked the texture and the look on the bottom here. I just thought that was really fun and I have a couple already and then I bought some clean kerosene on Amazon to burn if we ever need to, if power goes out for a long time, or 
just to be prepared. So I really liked that. Um, it just needs a little cleaning in the chimney there, but really beautiful little $8 kerosene lamp. All right, this crock I found at a whole different antique store for $4. It doesn't have a lid, but I thought, my goodness, this is so cute. Put a rolling pin in it, change out the crock I have with my stuff in it. Um, I know it's not vintage because it's got, well, it might be. It does say USA on it. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe some of you can tell me, but it's got just like a little dot on the bottom. There's no markings other than the USA because it does say 1004 on there. So I'm not sure if that's a vintage crock or not. Let me know if you know, but this was $4. And at that same booth, you've seen me pick these up before. This lady sells soaps and I love her homemade soaps. They're essential oil based soaps. They're two for six and that's a really good deal for um, really nice soaps. And I use soaps for guests and in our shower. Um, after we did our remodel, it's fun to have soap sitting out. So I got a couple lemongrass ones and then I did get one tea tree and grapefruit. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. It is so good, it smells wonderful. And then at Sabres, I did pick this basket up. It was $5.49, so you saw me look at that if you watched the thrifting park with me. But I just thought this would be really cute to store like creams in, some extra things for the baby in our bedroom because we're working in a little bedroom remodel. So I love that light wicker and with a little lid. $5.49 was a little spendy, but I splurged. And so my friend also, you probably saw that bench. She picked that bench up. She found a few other home decor pieces at Savers as well that she picked up. So a few of the things I showed you, she also bought. All right, to the clothes and other items. So a couple towels for $2.75 as we are hoping to have a home birth. So you have to have those to be prepared. And I'll probably do a home birth, um, like what's in my hospital bag for a home birth type thing video if any of you are interested in that. And then I found this really pretty D & Co Denim & Company shirt for $3.75. It's a tank top. I thought that'd be really pretty blouse. It seems a little big, um, but it'll be flowy, it'll be cute tucked in. It's got some ruffles on the bottom. It's like peachy cream. I don't know, it's just really pretty. And I can't try it on for you because I'm so pregnant. So it would not fit right now. But for $3.75, that was really adorable. My friend bought a bunch of tank tops for herself for dressing up. Um, but I just thought this would be, it's very modest, very, just very pretty. It would be great to wear to church with a little sweater over it or when it gets hot. And lastly, some yoga pants. So. I don't usually wear these often, but I know I want to start working out after baby. This was $2.75, but I think it was 50% off of the green tag. I don't know the brand. It says RSP. I could barely read the size, but they're just a really pretty burgundy, very thick. So hopefully you won't see like lines, underwear lines, things like that. But I just thought they're really nice, little stretchy on the waist. They're going to be a little higher waisted, especially after I have baby. I'll have a little bit of a tummy, of course, which is very normal. So just those two pieces for some clothes. So that was my haul. I really try to be a little restrictive on what I buy. I love perusing and shopping and getting things, but I know I have to hold some restraint, especially if I go more often. So I hope you really did enjoy coming along on our little thrifting outing and seeing my home. I will talk with you in the next video.